Hi guys, Cody Short with Skylink here. Today we're going to go over solar flight planning using DJI Pilot 2 for the Mavic 3E. So go ahead and open up your DJI Pilot 2. From here you're going to go ahead and open the flight route option. You're going to create a route. Go ahead and select the mapping option in the center. And it's going to pop up with your map where you want to go ahead and locate the array that you're going to inspect. Um, for this example, we'll go ahead and uh, select an area close to us. It helps to have the street names turned on so that way it's a little easier to find in the satellite view. And once you found your location, go ahead and tap the screen to select your boundaries. You go. You're going to go ahead and move your pins on the map here to get the corners of the site and make sure you're not missing any of these panels. So here you can create some extra waypoints and get all these panels for the example area inside. It's important here to make sure to the sides and the north and south of your panels that you're having some extra margin so that way when you're inspecting this and the flight is executing, you're not missing any of this area or any of these panels um, that can cause a reinspection. So I'm going to go ahead and square this up, add a little margin to the ends just for safety here. It's best to capture it all the first time with a solid flight plan um, and it doesn't add much additional time to get these, these margins on the sides and the tops and the bottoms. All right, once I've got my area, I'm going to go ahead and rename the flight plan. In this example, I'll use Skylink Solar. Um, you can go ahead and rename it by whatever site you're inspecting, the site name. The next section, you want to select your sensor or your camera here. Um, we're using the M3T as the example. So go ahead and select M3T from the list and make sure you select wide and IR. That is important because you want to take both RGB and IR shots. Um, so next you can take a look, you have your safe altitude. Um, this is going to go ahead and change based on how you feel what the, the best safe takeoff altitude is. For this example, we're going to go ahead and put it at 136, which will be our inspection altitude. You'll keep the relative to it. Uh, takeoff point and then for the flight route itself you can go ahead and match that 136 per the flight guidelines for a Raptor standard inspection okay so the next area we're gonna look up here is the speed of the flight route um, so you want to have this as 12 miles per hour per the guidelines for a standard inspection And then now we want to go ahead and adjust that course angle to match the panels. So we want to be flying side to side, looking at the panels. Looks here like they're not quite matching up at 90 degrees, so we're going to make a slight adjustment on the plus and minus buttons there on your screen. That way we get straight flight lines going side to side. All right, those are looking pretty straight. Um, you might be able to make a few adjustments if it's slightly off it'll kind of you'll notice over the long panels there um, a little bit of movement but not quite here so now that we got it nice and tight let's go ahead and um, select the uh, completion uh, task for this we want to exit task versus coming home um, that's just preference I like to manually fly home um, then we're going to jump right into advanced settings um, side overlaps 25% and front overlap is going to be 70 per standard guidelines. And now you'll see your lines have moved there for your overlaps and your altitude. And we just want to make sure we're covering everything. You can add some margin here. Um, we built it into the flight plan previously in the in the last steps here. Um, we just like to build it in the boundaries. If you want to add some extra, you can add some there in the margin. Um, and then we'll go ahead and move on to adding a custom camera angle, which is going to get you 
your direction of your aircraft while flying side to side. You want to turn it on and then you want to select defined. From here you get the slide bar from 0 to 360 degrees and as you move it you'll see your little triangle there on the screen facing the direction that that indicates. So we're going to set it there at 0 to face the panel as we move side to side. And you'll see your gimbal pitch is down at 90 degrees, which is great. Everything's looking good. Go ahead and quick settings check. We've got our course angle, our speed, our altitude. We have the right sensor. And it's all looking good. So we want to go ahead and save this mission. Oh, I've already used this name, so I'm just going to add a, a 1 here. Okay, hit save. And now we have the mission all set up and ready to go. A quick review. Everything looks pretty good. Um, this is ready to execute. You can go back using that back button on the top left to see all your saved flight plans. Um, you'll now see that flight plan there and all your other flight plans. Um, and you can go ahead and click back into it from here. You can turn your aircraft on and be able to execute.